always run away and hide all by yourself on this forefront. Musical Romance Once has arrived on Broadway. We're at the Jacobs Theater to celebrate with stars Steve Kazee, Kristen Milioti, and more on opening night. When your mind's made up, there's no point in trying to change it. When your mind's made up, when your mind's made up, there's no point in evil. How are you feeling right now? It's kind of a surreal thing. It's, uh, it's just really nice to have written a bunch of songs that have that have kind of gotten to a place beyond where you'd ever imagine they would go. You know? It's wonderful that they're, they've taken something we've done and made it their own thing, and it's, it, it lives on in a new way, in a new form, and I think that's, that's a great honor and great blessing for us, you know, to make us proud to have been part of it and for it to have touched so many people, so it's wonderful. What brings you out to the opening night of Once this evening? My best friend, Ann Nathan, is in it. I wanted to obviously be here to celebrate it with her, and I'm also a huge fan of the piece. I think it's, as far as new musical goes, new musicals go this year, it's just, to me, the best. What did you love about the movie? Why do you love the story? I love the story of the, the interpersonal relationships and what it means to actually love someone and support someone, and that's what I love about it. I love the film. I, I had seen it in Dublin, actually, when it opened. And, uh, um, so I've been a big fan of the, of, well, I was a big fan of the frames, and Steve and Kristen are, are good friends. And so, like, every, ev there's every reason in the world to come to the show. And also, it's, you know, actors playing guitars on stage. Why wouldn't you go? Tell me how this opening night is going for you. It's going really well. I, I, um, it's been strangely, like, overwhelmingly emotional for me, and I, it, it all hit out of nowhere. Like, I think we've just been going s so sort of crazy the last couple of weeks because we jumped right into tech and then right into performances, and now we're open, and it's all sort of the, the, the lights and everything right now is still catching me off guard a little bit. This is the best night of my life. <laughs> it's, it's just incredible. I feel amazing, and it, to be here with everyone after we've had this journey for a year is, is unbelievable. When did you first stumble upon this piece of work, the film? When, what was your first experience with Once? My agent called me and said, oh, are you interested in a uh, meeting to talk about turning Once, uh, the film, into a piece of musical theater? And, and I knew of it, of course, but uh, I'd, I'd never seen it or even heard the music. And the friend I was with at the time started jumping up and down. And I was like that, what? I went home that night, I downloaded the music. The next day I got the film, watched it. I was like that, mm-hmm. What are the biggest challenges for you in translating this piece to the stage from, from film? I think for it to matter, you know, I think was a big thing, you know, like it actually because it's a sort of invisible movie and it is barely there, it's sort of like, and it's so delicate. But actually you, you put that on stage and you can't make a two-hander on stage, a two-hander musical. We wanted it to be sort of an ensemble piece more than anything, but like it needs to sort of, it needs to matter, I think. What's it been like having Glenn and Marquetta around during this process? Incredible. Uh, it's really been special. There was one day where Glenn came in to teach the guys how to shred the guitar in Guild. And it's been like that the whole time. It's just Glenn is generous and Marquette is generous. They're so able to say, we love the piece and here now you invent it. They're, it's really quite remarkable. He's so giving and so free as an artist to be able to allow his songs to, to just be handed over to a group of actors to try to recreate the magic that he and Marquetta captured and, and she is a divine, divine human being. Yeah. You have these amazing stars in Kristen and Steve. What were you looking for to, to, to cast these two stars created by Glenn and Marquetta? Um, people that surprise me and slightly scare me with their talent, which is what both of those do. Well, I think it's refreshing that they're not playing them like Ben and Marquetta because you can't, can't actually touch what they did in the film. They are so perfect. Um, so I love that Kristen's feisty and, and edgier for, th for this. And Steve is incredible. I mean, they're really so lucky to have them. They're so gifted. Weirdly, a lot of this was just there. Like, the whole ensemble. Like, I just think John picked people he knew somehow on maybe some unknown level that just click with the material, with each other. Amazing. Do you guys have rock star dreams? Is that what you're all living out on stage every night? So. I think so. I think mostly ever. I can speak for myself only, but I think most of us have, have at some point like dreamt of being a professional musician and like being a rock star. So this kind of gets, we get to marry a lot of things together. Absolutely. Yes. I, yes, I am. Every night. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Like eight times a week. It's amazing. I feel like I'm in the coolest rock band on Broadway right now. So thank you very much.